What's up everybody? It's the Biggie. Welcome to a another video, Tech Tuesday edition. <sighs> Uh, today's video is going to be a little short and sweet because I would like to get to the point of this and I would like to to dive into a little bit of the, the talk with this first and foremost today We are talking about let's get the serial number for this guy the Asus Pro Art a 27 AC What this is is a 27 inch 1440 monitor the reason why I personally enjoy 1440 monitors a little bit more is not everybody has 4k and there are certain things that look Amazing on 4k monitors that may not look the best on other monitors monitors out there that are not 4k if that makes sense like certain things may seem like crystal clear and sharp on 4k and then when you downscale it to a, another size it actually like it over sharpens it most professionals will know how to work with that and won't like overcompensate for having 4k or having a higher resolution but just a tip for people that are maybe just growing and, and moving up from that 1080 to 4k realm just a little bit of advice to pay attention to those things that not everybody has a 4k monitor now before I talk about the techie stuff before I actually dive into what's in here I want to point out that this monitor is for what I would consider entry-level professionals or professionals looking for a monitor on a budget as as of now, the time that I'm making this video, this monitor is $650. Yes, that's dollars, not dollar hairs. Now, people are probably saying, Biggie, yo, $650 is not a budget. That is not an affordable monitor. If you are a child or just a young adult or an adult that is not taking their creation serious, their video photo design work serious, and is not making an actual uh, maybe part-time, 50% full-time earning off of their creative work then yes this monitor in this budget is not for you this is not an affordable monitor for you want to point that out so that way we're eliminating that so if, if you if you're somebody that's like looking for a half-ass monitor around like $200 this is not the monitor for you now hear me out if you are somebody that is making a, a decent earning maybe you're doing wedding films maybe you're doing wedding photos maybe you're doing graphic design work for uh, esports for esports teams for streamers whatever it may be I'm not here to tell you how to do your prices but at the end of the day if you're doing work for other people and you're charging too low that doesn't eliminate the fact that this is a very affordable monitor for its capabilities or the workload that you will be able to put this monitor through so I don't know maybe up your prices so if you are moving more into the professional side of things maybe you're doing quite a few wedding sessions a year maybe you're doing a lot of events a lot of photography events maybe you're designing a lot of stuff every week you're designing stuff now and you would like to take it more serious and you would like to potentially move into the full-time world or maybe you did just go full-time if you are working daily in a creative field looking into a monitor I feel this is the monitor for you I feel for six hundred and fifty dollars that you can justify that it is a good investment to have a monitor like this the reason why before I even get into specs just my personal experience and my personal feelings with this and you know due to what it has throughout years of doing this stuff I have learned that monitors are very very important I have cut so many corners when it's come to monitors and about two years ago I changed that I started taking monitors just as serious as the rest of the computer components that go into my setup because monitors are very important because how you perceive things on your monitor depends how the rest of the world is going to perceive stuff from the work that you've done on your monitor B basically what I'm saying is if you have a shitty monitor that has shitty tones and shitty dynamic range and you can't tell the difference between if this is too bright or if it's too dark when you create that project in there and you put it on somebody else's monitor out there in the world or somebody else's TV it can look really 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 bad the reason why I take monitors serious now is because when you are creating work for other people you need to be able to see things that other people will be able to see already editing with this thing I you know I go back and look at some old videos for example and I find parts that are way overexposed way underexposed where the shadows are dropped way too much where they're crushing out I notice noise that I didn't notice before I notice when things are way too sharp in color and the biggest thing but the biggest point the biggest point to all this is me as a creative me being on these monitors every single day of my life that can be brutal on your eyes taking in all that unnatural light is not really that good for you now does it really affect you that much there are videos out there I'm not gonna get into that today 
you can go check out those videos. If you're somebody like me who would experience a lot of headaches, a lot of eye fatigue at the end of the day, when I started stepping up my monitors and investing in my monitors, that drastically changed for me. So that's all out of the way. Can you get all that, what I just mentioned, without buying this monitor here? Absolutely. freaking -lutely. You can get an IPS monitor that is 1440p that has certain things to it, like anti-flickering and blue light filter for a more affordable cost. But my thing is being able to get everything that this monitor specifically has. I don't, I don't know. I haven't really messed with that many monitors like this. This is the craziest creative monitor I have messed with, and it is absolutely insane. So let's get into the nerdy part and actually get what's in here. I'm going to read it off this list. So again, 27 inch screen. It's 100% sRGB. It's an IPS panel, 1440p. It's got five millisecond response time, but it's not a gaming monitor. So I wouldn't worry about that. This is a real eight bit display. Flicker free. One of the things that will help with the, uh, you know, with eye fatigue. It has an HDR support for high dynamic range, which is absolutely amazing. A six axis adjustment for RGB CMY. It's got this amazing quick fit modes to where you can align certain rollers and whatnot on the screen. And it has a blue light filter. So this is, that's the, the screen specs of it. Here's a big thing to this, the ports. That's one thing that drastically changed with my perspective when it comes to monitors is the more that you invest into the monitor, the ability for ports and ports change a lot. They change things. They make things a lot more easier to interact with different devices and be able to uh, use things on the go. For example, having my laptop, having my uh, hard drive, and having other things like cameras and whatnot to be able to have that Thunderbolt connection and that USB 3.0 connection and, and, and you know seamlessly interact with the computer due to having it actually connected. It essentially acts like a fast hub for all the information and, and stuff that I need to create. So the ports are a Thunderbolt 3 USB-C times two. There's an in and an out for that. So if you want to transfer data through an HDMI version 2.0, a display port, and then two more HDMI. HDMI's at a 1.4. It's got an earphone jack. It's got a USB upstream and also comes with two USB 3.0 jacks and then a USB 3.0 type C jack as well. I personally, with the work that I do, I don't do very, very like high end commercial work. You're more than capable to even do that stuff with as well, which is just, it excites me because this is a long term investing monitor. This is a monitor that for $650, as of now, I'm making the video so it may go down in price, it may go up in price depending on trends, but I know this monitor will last me throughout my career for the next 10 years, probably. Even if something was to happen, I was doing a lot more study and I got more involved into commercial higher end shooting. This monitor would be for me. There are things that I personally don't really use right now on it. I will admit that, but already the advances that I get from it are absolutely insane. So overall, this monitor, once again, if you are just starting off and you, you want just a nice new monitor to work on, maybe not the monitor for you. But if you're somebody that's making a few hundred to a few thousand dollars a month, you're starting to have deadlines, you're starting to have to work more, you're starting to have to stress more on projects, and you want to take yourself more serious, and you want to have something that will last long term, this monitor is amazing and it is more than worth the investment. I'm actually gonna be spending some time out of office and I'm gonna be taking a lot of my supplies with me and I'm gonna be stacking my 1440 27 inch gaming monitor with this monitor and I think it's gonna be an ultimate collection. I know a lot of people that follow me, a lot of people that I interact with, they are gamers as well. So if you are going in the route of having a gaming monitor and a design monitor or for video editing and photo editing as well, I would highly suggest this monitor. I would highly recommend investing into this monitor. Overall, biggest Thing, take monitors more serious. They are a very crucial part to your workload. There's reasons why cheap monitors are, are cheap because they don't come with certain things that are really good for you. If you have any questions about this monitor, be sure to let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about any of the stuff that I have in here. Again, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video in any way, shape, or form, be sure to leave a like. As always, subscribe and turn on those notifications. That's all I got for you guys today. I'm out. Peace.